friends, welcome back to my channel. So, Kiss, yes, Kiss, reached out to me and they asked me if I wanted to try their new glue. And of course I say yes. So they sent me this wonderful goodie box with all of this stuff in it and I'm so excited. Um, maybe I'll do another video just to show you guys everything that came in here. But tonight, we're gonna talk about the Almighty Bond, okay? So I've been hearing good things about this lace glue, and you can find this at your local beauty supply, I believe. If not, I will have a link down below where you can purchase this. So, we're gonna do an install, and what do you get in this little kit? Okay, kids, this is cute. All right, so you get the actual product, and this is just a case holder, so it says, invisible look, Safe formula, super strong hold, fast drying, no flaking, lace front wig bond of your dreams, almighty bond. And so you have the lace front remover and the glue. So let's open this up. Do I have to use scissors? No. Yes. Yeah, I need some scissors. So maybe we'll do another video of the lace glue remover when I'm taking off my wig. This looks like a thick formula. Gentle foam, oh it's a foaming solvent. Okay yeah, we definitely wanna try this because if this is the, yeah, we gonna, we gonna try this in a different video. So I'm gonna remove my wig using this. And again, it says insanely strong. <laughs> I hope I don't get a headache, so. I'm going to treat this like I normally treat me putting on a lace front. Let's see the direction. Clean and remove all makeup and residue around application area. Applying thin, even layers of Kiss Almighty Bond on hairline. On hairline. Um, when glue becomes tacky and clear, apply more layers as needed for additional strength. Note, please, for best removal, use Kiss Remover product, which is this, okay? And it says caution for external use only. If, irritate, if irritation occurs, stop using it immediately, all right? And then it has the ingredients. So, let's use it. Oh, and they give you like this little spongy thing. I don't know if this is for the glue or to the remover, but I'm not, I don't wanna use this. So I'm going to take a towel, a face towel and some alcohol and I'm gonna clean it around my hairline so I can get rid of my makeup residue because I am wearing makeup today. And I want the best hold because we're gonna be wearing this wig. So I'm going to put some alcohol on my towel and then I'm gonna clean it and just let the area dry. Alright, so I cleaned the area twice just to make sure that all of the makeup is off of my hairline. I am going to plug in my blow dryer because I do use my blow dryer when I am applying these types of glues. I take a little bit more alcohol and I'm going to clean my fingertips just because I like to use my fingers to apply glues. So I'm going to make sure my fingers are clean and then I'm going to wait for this to dry and then we're going to apply our glue. While this layer is drying, I am gonna go in with my towel and clean off my fingers because I don't like my fingers being sticky and it'll just make the whole like application a mess. Um, this does have a strong smell. It, I don't know. 
it's just it's a, it's a strong smell um i've i've used glues like this but this one smells more like a little bit stronger than the other glues that i normally use and i'm gonna go in with maybe two or three layers so i'm gonna wait for this to dry clear and then i'm gonna go in with the next layer Okay, so what I did notice is like when I typically use other glues, my fingers are really sticky and it's hard for me to remove this glue with alcohol the glue with alcohol off of my fingers, but this removed pretty easy. So there's like I, so I feel some type of way about that because if it removes so easy, is the hole gonna be good? That that's that's the question. But on the flip side, I could say like Okay, well, if it removed easily, then the removal of the glue around my hairline will come off easy as well. So we have to just see how well that that, how well this glue holds. And again, this is a beauty supply brand glue. So I'm interested to see how well this works. So I am gonna do three layers. I'm gonna wait till this dries clear. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply another layer just for the sake of the tutorial and just to see how well it holds. Since it's saying that it's super hold, we gonna see if it's a super hold, you feel me? I don't wanna go all the way down to my sideburns, you guys, because um, my cap didn't cover my sideburns. So I'm not gonna put glue in this area. I put a little bit, but I don't wanna put glue all the way in this area. I'd rather use something else or just leave it alone. Um, I just don't wanna put glue on my sideburns because that is hard to get out, so. Wait for this to dry clear, one more layer, three in total, and then we're gonna apply this beautiful. Ran into a problem, it's not the glue's fault, but the glue is clinging to my little hairline hair, little tiny hairline hairs. That's the reason why it's not completely turned on white, but we're gonna push for it because it's still gonna dry even though I'm doing the application, okay? So, we're just gonna pull this on forward because hide it in the hairline I like that it's going to dry it's going to dry okay and then we're gonna put this right there and then we're gonna sit that right there okay and we're just gonna push it in be gentle where the white areas is because you don't want it to seep through okay take your blow dryer Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take my pins out of my hair, comb it, see what it's looking like. I did go in and use my foundation brush and just dabbed the hairline just so it could blend in with my skin because it was a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone. And this looks good. I'm, I'm loving this. This is like not 
what I'm used to. And then it's cute as well, like if I pulled it up. Uh, Alright, so, um, for now, good, alright? So I am going to sleep in this wig. I'm going to wrap my hairline down with this elastic band and I'm gonna come back tomorrow morning and we're gonna see what it looks like, see if it held up, if it slipped, what it, what's up? Like we're gonna see what happens, all right? Okay, you guys, it is three o'clock the following day. I honestly, um, I don't think I'm gonna have my wig on for long because I do have to get to other hair, I have to switch my wig, so I'll probably leave it on until tomorrow midday or tomorrow night and then I'll take it off and then we'll do the removal. But, it is it's still on there and it's really good. My baby hairs are all over the place, so I'm gonna have to do my baby hair. So, I'm just gonna go back in and since I'm wearing this wig, I'm gonna just go ahead and curl it up again how it was yesterday. And, yes. So, I, I'll come back when my hair is curled and we'll fast forward till tomorrow. Alright. So this is what my wig looks like after a couple of days. It is sliding back. So I am ready to take this off because I have to switch my wigs. So I am going to use the glue remover and the directions say gently lift the wig, apply remover on glue areas, massage product in, will get soapy as it's cleaning the glue. Let the remover sit for one to two minutes. Follow up with water to remove the excessive residue. So let's see how well this cleans off. Oh, I'm so oily. Let's see what it smells like. So it does foam, which is interesting. It doesn't have a smell to it, so. This side is completely coming up, but remember, I didn't put any down here on my sideburn, so that is to be expected. So I'm gonna just let this sit on my hairline for about two minutes, like it says, and then we'll see how well it's lifting up. All right, so it's been about two minutes, and I'm just gonna gently tug, and my wig is lifting up. So this side is completely coming up. Boom. All right. Gently, don't pull. And my wig is coming off. I'm gonna let that glue red remover sit on the lace just to make sure that everything comes off. Now, this is the uh, annoying part, getting it off your skin, right? So I'm gonna put a little bit more. And I'm gonna let that sit for about two minutes as well and we'll see how well that come, makes the glue come off because getting the glue off your skin is the most annoying part of removing your wig so if this makes everything come off easily then this is a game changer so it feels like the glue that's around my skin is off. I don't. I wouldn't for surely know until I go rinse off my the front of my hairline. Um, I gently massaged it in and was using my fingers to like help roll the glue up into little balls. That helped a lot. So I am going to basically just wash my face, my makeup off as well because it's really late right now. And um, 
we'll see where we at and I think the only thing that's keeping my cap down is my got to be so I'm gonna wash that as well and see how well it comes off and I'll be right back for my recap Ooh, okay you guys <laughs> So I washed my face, took my makeup off, and I washed my hairline. I need to take my braids out, I'm gonna do that tonight because my hair needs to be washed. But I will say, this might be a game changer. I wanna use it again just to see if it actually really works as well as it did because that removal was super easy. <laughs> like super easy so I really like this I'm gonna give it one more go to see how I, I truly truly feel about this because this made my lace front removal removal happen in probably like a good seven minutes two minutes to remove my actual lace front another two minutes to um, remove the excessive glue that was on my hairline and then the rest of it was me just massaging water on it to just, you know, loosen my actual cap. But my cap was down because of got to be glue. So, yeah. So, this is how I feel about this product. I feel like the lace glue is cool. Um, I did get a little slip, uh, some slippage after four days. And when I say slippage, I mean like, you know, your hairline kind of feel a little tacky. I did get that, but that's normal when it comes to lace front glues in, in regards to me. I am an oilier person, so um, oils tend to break down lace front glues or lace glues in general. So I typically don't get a long wear out of lace glues like other people do who might have dry skin so um that's my experience i definitely love the lace glue remover i don't know if they sell this by itself because if they do then i will be a long time subscriber buyer of this because this is amazing if you if you try anything definitely try this because this is bomb and I like the fact that it lathers it feels kind of like soap but it's not soap but it has a nice little lather and it just makes it easy for you to remove your uh, frontals and the glue that's on your hairline so I'm going to go ahead and take down my braid so I can wash it and wash my hair and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to leave them down below in the comment area. I will leave all the information to this product down below in the description box. And I will also leave the information if you can buy this separately. And I don't know, maybe we could do another test to see if this works with another glue formula as well. Maybe like something like Bold Hold because Bold Hold is hard to remove off your hairline as well. And like I I'm promise you like this remove my wig so fast oh my god it wasn't a lot of rubbing or anything after I massaged it in and I went and washed my face I used my towel and I gently just wiped my face and the rest of the glue just rolled off friends believe me give this a try you will not regret it <laughs> all right but until next time bye best friends